Hello all, welcome to my channel Tech Research. Today's video is related to ChatGPT. I am going to explain you how ChatGPT can be helpful for research writing or academic writing. I have asked from some of my subscribers like how ChatGPT can be useful in research writing. So I am going to share step by step in detail how you can use ChatGPT during your research journey. The first important thing that I want you to understand is writing a research paper or academic writing is a series of steps. To understand the entire process of research, I have created a dedicated playlist step by step where I mention how to write the research paper or article. So I do recommend you to watch that entire playlist before going this into detail. ChatGPT is a tool which you can use it as a supportive tool in your research journey. It is not something a magical band that it will complete your research just in quickly in minutes. That is not the case. So you need to understand how ChatGPT can be used as a supporting tool in your research journey or in your research process. The first step, ChatGPT could be useful in writing some introduction, outline, abstract based on your title and thesis. So if you want to have a proper introduction or if you are looking for bringing uh, creating an outline draft if you're feeling like you're confused not able to start from not not getting an idea from where to start then chat gpt could be helpful so as you can see i've asked chat gpt to write introduction regarding hidden mocha model with resource citation so this is one of my research papers so i just thought like how it would be so as you can see in output it has written some introduction regarding HMM model that is hidden, hidden Moco model and it also presented some of the citations also and the references which you can refer while drafting any outline or introduction or abstract. So this could be helpful in any of the research study in any of irrespective of subject or field chat GPT will help or to write some more innovative introduction, outline or abstract for your research case study. But you have to read it, evaluate it, make the more necessary changes and then it can be used further. The second, ask chat GPT to bring out the best research papers. Many times we get stuck with many research papers on Research Scholar or different or Google Scholar on different research paper platforms so we can ask chat gpt to make a list of five to ten best papers in that specific field which will it will bring for you and it will create then you can read those further papers accordingly and can narrow it down as for your research methodology so here is the example i want to ask chat gpt to list out the five research papers or top research papers in this field so it will name and it will just give a summary what is this paper about which is nice and amazing so i felt this is nice rather than using different other research paper platforms like google scholar or research scholar this is more different and we can just refer the paper it also provides a two line summary of each research paper this i liked it very much this feature is very amazing. So in this way, you can just ask chat GPT to list out the top research papers in any of your field irrespective of subject. The next last thing which I feel chat GPT could be very useful in research is asking for summarization. It is quite tedious and sometimes very boring where we feel lazy to read the entire research paper and also to grasp the meaning out of it. So we can ask ChatGPT to summarize a particular paper or the few key, key takeaways that could be important for us from that paper. So in that way, you can just note it down in a proper way with proper citations, which you could use as a literature review in your research writing or academic writing. So the example is I have asked ChatGPT to summarize the paper 
for one of the mathematical machines translation. So this is one of the paper which I was referring to and I thought it would be nice if chat GPT can summarize me what is there in the paper or what are the few key takeaways from the paper. So it provided me with this summary which is nice. It also explained what does the author wants to describe in this particular paper. So I thought this is also one of the best use of chat GPT where we can ask a summary of different research papers where we are finding or struggling to understand them more in detail. So I feel these are the three important three important ways that chat GPT could be useful for you while drafting a research paper or during your academic or research writing. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Do let me know if you have any further questions on research or technology. I'll try to help you out. Thank you for watching. See you in next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.